all about the gator. What's up, everybody? 9 a.m. I've actually got my uh, bright orange uh, Lacoste on today. I got it from China when I was in Shanghai in um, 2006, I believe. Just sitting here, and as you can tell, I'm ready for work. Check this thing out. Isn't that cool? That's how it like swings back and forth, my briefcase. Anyways, guys, long day ahead. Um, a lot of appointments today. Oh, man, and it's kind of... Oh, you know what? I left my gloves. Man, I left my gloves in the, in the loft. Oh, one of those mornings. It's kind of... Yeah, it's kind of cold out here. Anyways, guys, got a lot of appointments. Whoops. And uh, we got a long day, so come on along. Let's find... A, Oh, isn't that nice? Morning, uh, morning fountain. Anyways, guys, I, uh, I seem to have, uh, after about eight months, I broke my uh, security access key. And then Josh was like, here, just put a little scotch tape on it, which I did. It still works. Should I just hold on to this one? Here. I'll take it. There you go. Take the old one. I used my broken one. Are you really? All right, cool. Yeah, I got to head on out in the cold now. I left my gloves up in my loft. And, man, this cold weather is... Kind of a. That's more. Hey guys, hello America. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time anybody's ever said that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we get a little bit of views on this channel. I have a second YouTube account. This one, so yeah. people are watching you from uh, from pa Paducah, Kentucky. <laughs> you know, oh, um, Paducah. Have you been to Paducah before? I've never been there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to take this downtown, see what we can't find. Let's go. So reading the uh, front page of the Macon Telegraph this morning, it says jobs are a top worry. And you know what? Lately guys, um, here in Macon about, about a week and a half ago, about 33 people were let go, 30 something people were let go from jobs they've worked for years from uh, the city of Macon. and. Uh, a lot of people, um, you know, not you know, everywhere are concerned about their jobs. Um, I think that a lot of you know the new trend seems to be a lot of people are becoming their own boss in an area where they have a knack or a specialty where you don't have to worry as long as you're productive and able to find a niche where you can make some money. Then you don't have to worry about you know punching a clock or working for anybody, but at the same time, not a lot of people have that you know, option, so a lot of people are dependent on the paycheck in the 40-hour work week. Um, if you were to look at the economy now compared to eight, nine months ago, or a year ago, it seems like things were a lot better, but there's way and much more room to go. Um, I think uh, it's important that everybody, you know, just hope for the best. I mean, there's really nothing you can tell somebody when you're telling them, hey, you know, don't worry, you're not going to get let go or hang in there. It's probably the worst thing you can say. But at the same time, you need to be aware that, yeah, you know, the economy is slow. Companies are not making as much money because uh, people aren't spending as much money on goods and services. And that, you know, that means cutting back on how much you pay people. But anyways, hopefully it'll get better. Hopefully, you know, the job, the number of jobs will go up. Unemployment rate will go down in the coming months as we head into mid-summer uh, 2010. Here's a quick thing I wanted to show you guys about downtown Macon. A lot of these stores that have been here for years, um, originally when they opened, they marked the, uh, the tile in the front entrance with the name of the store, like Neal's, for instance, right here. Uh, Neal's is located right under the original sign. Joss N. Neal's. See? Neal's must have been like an apartment store. And this was it right here. And now it's a uh, store called Blair's. So, um, yeah, it's pretty neat to see the uh, actual front entrances of the shops with the name of the store. That must have been a tradition. This was like the spot. Okay. It's downtown Macon was actually the place to be back in the 
back in the early part of, or rather the middle part of the 50s. It's always neat to be able to come out this morning and look around. If you look around here, it's like the day is just beginning. The lunch crowd ain't out yet, and everybody's kind of just getting their day going. Um, that Saturn Sky is a really awesome freaking car. It's too bad they're not making Saturns anymore, but if you look at that, it's like a, a more affordable sports coupe. It's a sweet car. I mean, yeah, you know, it's great. Look at that thing. Convertible. Hey guys, can you imagine in 1878 that a drugstore actually operated on this corner? Right outside the building I used to live in, actually. Pretty neat. So I uh, stopped in to help my friend out on a delivery. You guys, here's my philosophy on life. I'm my own boss, I have my own business. It's actually uh, starting to generate now, money-wise. And if I can make a couple extra bucks doing something fun, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a delivery on the scooter. Remember the scooter, guys, from vlog number one on uh, New Year's Eve, remember that? When I was like riding to the gas station to get batteries for the megaphone um, 27 days ago? Seems so long ago. Whoa! Look at this guy. Might as well have fun making a delivery, right? I feel like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Remember Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Or uh, Pee Wee was like, <laughs> wasn't he on like a bike? Hold on, I gotta cross here. I like to be considered like a jack of all trades where. You know, I'm in a suit one day, I'm a businessman, but I'm always willing to do something good. And I also get to help my friend who owns the restaurant. What in the world is this doing in the road? What in the world is it doing? Excuse me. Have a good time, fun. Whoa, this now we're heading over to... Uh, Excuse me. We're heading over to Plum Street. All right. And I got the right away. You guys, isn't, see, I'm telling you, like the daily vlogs are full of uh, like a lot of surprises. You never expected today we'd be back on a on scooter here. Scooter the scooter. We're going right here. I'm gonna chop this onion and give you guys a little bit of an Emerald Lagasse cooking class. We're taking the onion, okay? We're chopping it up into slices and cubes because it's gonna go in the blender. Say goodbye, onion. Bye, everybody. Okay, taking the whole onion. Guys, make sure you have an appropriate kitchen utensil. Say goodbye, Mr. Onion. There we go, there was Mr. Onion. We're chopping him into pieces. We're going to basically be putting this in the blender. Today's cooking tip of the day, guys. And this is it. There's a good shot of the Okmulgee River guys coming downstream. And uh, this is possibly a location where we could shoot this video. And the second location. And we'll let the we'll let the crew decide what they want to do. And the cast. Just us five really.